is an assembly guide for a um, Dareway two-wheeled Paul Blart type of uh, scooter uh, made by Feber or Feber. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. F-E-B-E-R. Anyway, it's an electric scooter with uh, the two wheels. Uh, I had to put it together in the middle of the night, uh, the night before Christmas. Um, so, you know, it's not the best of lighting. Every once in a while I switch over the uh, Sony 4K camera that has the infrared and uh, to light up uh, things. It has some kind of infrared broadcast or spotlight on it, which is kind of neat. It's not the best, but uh, I think it works. Anyway, so this is unboxing it. Uh, you know, this is all the usual goodies. Uh, everything seems wrapped okay. Uh, they've put it in a rather hefty box to prevent damage. Overview, that's the main unit. Uh, the battery came already installed. Uh, that in the box there is a charger. Uh, you can see the screws uh, and a wheel that you're going to have to attach, a third wheel. And those are the plastic little fenders and the handlebars uh, uh, and control unit is the uh, gray plastic thing. So here's the unit. Now what we're going to want to do is flip it over for the first part of this. Um, to access the bottom we're going to put the extra or a third wheel uh, on first <clears throat> and uh, these you know there's the wheel right there it's a reasonably durable wheel and these are the, well that's the whole bag of screws so you know I suggest emptying them on a place where you can sort through them. And, uh, these are the screws uh, that you're going to use for the wheel and you see those little lock uh, washers that you're going to use, uh, you know, to make sure that wheel doesn't fall off because that would probably be bad uh, for the unit if it fell off. Uh, so you know, it's really rather you know simple here. I, I use a ratchet screwdriver. Uh, I wouldn't recommend an electric screwdriver, you know, just because you can't really feel what's doing. And then uh, ratchet down the screws reasonably tight. You know, I wouldn't get crazy, uh, but it secures in pretty well. Um, over there you can see I flipped the infrared on. Woo! <laughs> I don't know. It seemed like I guess the lighting was good before I did the infrared. Anyway, I'm sitting there. Why am I showing? I'm tightening it. But I just want to make sure it's in reasonably secure there. Okay. So uh, now we're going to flip it back over. You know, the, the base unit. And, um, you know, as I said, the battery's already installed. You don't have to fiddle with that. So these are the handle, the, the poles that hold the handlebars. Um, they slide right into those little holes there that you see in the front. Now make sure you put them in the correct direction. <laughs> I'll show you in a minute here, which uh, I put it in the wrong way there. So there we go. I spin it around. See, so you can see it kind of angles back towards uh, where the user is going to be. Uh, both sides, you know, go in. You might have to wiggle it a little bit, but uh, it goes in reasonably well. Just try to put it in straight. Uh, don't force it. it I didn't uh, have any problems really getting it in. Well, you can see I fiddled with it a little bit, but uh, don't try not to kill yourself or break anything. Uh, so there they are. You can see how the poles, uh, they're facing the direction of the um, driver would be facing that way. Uh, so th now these are, are going, uh, these screws here are going to be fastening it uh, on the bottom. Uh, so we're going to have to tilt the unit up to access the bottom where those poles you just stuck in will now be sticking out. You can see them there. Uh, I think I may point them out here. Zoom in. That's even better. God, this camera is great. Uh, I was going to use my little GoPro. Why is it shaking like that? Anyway, uh, I was going to... Okay, so here we go. So you see them sticking out. Now they have a hole in there. Make sure it's lined up 
with the holes on the brackets there and then the screw slides in now if it doesn't slide in just wiggle the pole until it gets in there and there's already a, a nut on the other side that the screw goes into so then you can just tighten it down I wouldn't tighten it down until you break it tighten it down until it kind of flexes a little bit I mean that's holding it in so tighten it down good but don't get crazy nuts and break it because if you break it well that's it I mean try super glue on it but <laughs> so the other side actually had a little bit of trouble uh, getting the screw in so if you do have trouble getting it in just wiggle it and kind of make sure the holes are aligned in the bottom there and then screw it in and it you know tends to work pretty good okay so there we go those are fastened uh, at this point we're gonna put the uh, unit back upright and um, I think we're going to do the plastic uh, handlebars when I'm done goofing around. So those are the uh, where the handlebars are going to go. <laughs> uh, maybe I should have edited this better. Ah, there we go. So this is the control unit. That, you know, is the handlebars. And um, you, know, you can see the wires uh, that you'll end up hooking up to the harness on the on the bottom. So this is pretty self-explanatory. You just slide it in like I'm showing you here. Uh, you know, try not to break the wires when you're doing it. Make sure that they, you know, are move and, and so forth. And when you slide this on, it slides on rather easily. I didn't have any real problems. You're going to be uh, lining up some holes uh, for the fastener screws that I had showed you earlier here. And here I'm going to show you how the holes line up. You can see, see how they line up right there? You just stick them in there and then you can have a little nut uh, that goes on the bottom. And the nut kind of sinks in there flush on the bottom. See, I'm showing you now how the screw is going to go in. And then the nut kind of sinks in flush underneath it there. So just sort of stick the nut up in there with your finger and screw the screw in while holding the nut with your finger. And it's like uh, form fitting on the bottom so it holds the nut still uh, while you screw in the top to like hold the nut while you're screwing it in and uh, you know it's a little bit of filling you probably drop the nut once or twice and it'll go under the chest of drawers and then you got to sit there and stick your hand under there and get bit by a scorpion or whatever <coughs> um, that did not happen to me well the nut did fall under the chest of drawers, but the scorpion didn't get me. <laughs> okay, so the next part is fastening the uh, bottom parts of the, um, the, the handlebars uh, to the base unit. So it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, those are the four screws that I had showed you, and you just put them in the base there. And uh, Again, you know, be, tighten them good. But I think you're tightening this part into the plastic, so you know be careful. Plus, it's a little bit difficult. You might have, I hope they have a longer screwdriver than I did. It's a little bit hard when the bar is right next to it. But you know, just do the best you can. And again, don't crank it down too bad. Okay, so now we're gonna put uh, the uh, plastic little black pieces in here. And the trick is the you can see the wiring harness there. The trick is to put the wiring harness, oh, those are the screws you're going to use, uh, the wiring harness on the inside of the bars um, where it will not block putting the screws in. So, first of all, peel this apart, uh, the plastic little piece, you know, they have it snapped together. So, um, all right. Here we go. I know I can do it. Yay! Okay, so uh, 
Anyway, you can see the harness there, how it's form-fitting. And you make sure you put the harness in so it's not blocking where the screws of the snap goes. And it takes a little bit of patience and fiddling to get this right. And oh, and the plastic pieces you can see I was pointing goes all the way to that uh, top part. And then you snap the black piece in. It kind of like snaps in. It's nicely engineered there with that. Uh, so squeeze it until it snaps in. Make sure the uh, wiring harness is out of the way where you're going to put... <laughs> What's up with my glasses? Why do they not go on very... stay on? And then you put the screw in. Uh, just like that. It's... Um, there we go. Uh, crank the screw down again. I would not crank it down until you strip it or break it. You know, just tighten it good. Uh... You know, He-Man there, it's not all about how tight you can turn it, it is about keeping it fastened uh, without breaking it. So, I don't know why I'm showing you tightening down both screws, but that's poor editing, and I will blame the editor. Oh wait, that's me. Okay, here we go. So now I, oh, what are we going to do with all those screws? Oh, these fenders. Okay, so first of all, <laughs> you got to figure, these fenders are a pain. Uh, the little side, you'll figure it out. I mean, it's like a puzzle. The little side goes to the back, and the bigger side's in the front. And now I'm pointing at those two, uh, these are where the screws all go, I was just pointing. But those two middle areas are probably the ones you want to screw in first, you know, just to kind of fasten it down. Now, you might want to look on the unit itself, as you can see I'm doing. I'm like, what? Where do they have these little screws? And this is probably the poor, poorest engineered part, is, is these screws are a pain. Uh, you can see how uh, hard it is to access that one in the front. So, um, anyway, you might want to look at where all the screws are so you get an idea. And then you put the fender on. Uh, and I, again, I would screw those two metal ones first. That's what I did. And it seemed to work okay. And then you got to sit there and clown around for a while with the other ones. And you'll see what I mean. It's not exactly easy to... Uh, it'd be better to have a longer screwdriver uh, to access those other screws. But uh, it's doable. And um, again... I would be very careful about cranking it down, you know, it's plastic to plastic, and uh, you could strip it, so, uh, you know, don't do that, uh, see, so you can see the little hole, okay, so, you know, I did those two first, and then you see the holes in the back and the front, happy days, with uh, putting that, that one there. You gotta like almost bend uh, the fender in. You see how you have to bend it? You have to push it in to get it in. Okay, so I got both of those on without uh, being you know bleeding or anything. Uh, so then we plug the wiring harness in, and this is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the you know one the plugs are different shapes. So back to kindergarten or preschool with blocks, you know, put the correct shape. Uh, on the correct um, connector, you know, if it doesn't fit, it's the wrong one, <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm sure you'll figure it out, if you don't figure it out, well, you should have bought one pre-assembled, so, and, well, maybe I didn't figure it out, <laughs> all right, next, oh, Party time. This is the front fender of my cover and back cover for the handlebars. And this thing is just horrible. Uh, out of the entire unit, this was my least favorite part of the construction. Uh, you know, I don't know. I just felt like it was rather clunky. Um, it fastens, though, so you make sure you, you can see I'm showing you which is the front and the back. And, it, you know... It just didn't feel like it was nice and solid how it 
got together but so put that wiring harness on it and you might you're gonna have to just fiddle with this unfortunately I, I can't really give you much better instructions than that and then put it together I called for assistance from my loyal assistant to help me by holding one side while I kind of tried to snap the other side and then started screwing screws in once I was sure the wiring harnesses were out of the way of where the screws go but uh, needless to say this is uh, don't get too frustrated there's actually a couple of screws that I could not get uh, on the very bottom <clears throat> I, I just couldn't get it to stick and uh, it was getting closer and closer to dawn uh, so anyway uh, um, these are just like some kind of design little deals I guess and they suck too <laughs> the screw doesn't really go in very well but if, again if you just work at it and look at it and fiddle with the you know they kind of go in on an angle uh, and you put them in anyway so there we go I got it done that there is the uh, completed unit and uh, you know that's pretty cool uh, I, I prefer the go-kart over this thing this thing's like very touchy you push the gas pedal and it's like oh no it goes like super fast it's very sensitive you let go and it jerks to a stop by the way uh, make you can wear a helmet and shoes unlike us 